All right, so yeah, taking here, Assassin's Creed 3 PS3, um, super slim, and I'm uh, putting in a bigger hard drive now. I part one is, was basically backing up the 60 gigabyte PS3 data, my old PS3 onto my new super slim's PS3 hard drive, 500 gigabyte that it came with. So now I'm gonna take that out and put in the um. This is the one terabyte drive. I got this off of Newegg. Um, I'm gonna put that one into this super slim now. And then after I do that, I'm gonna repeat the first step, which was to take all the data from the old PS3 and then put it onto the new P from um, my old 60 gigabyte PS3 and put it onto my new super slim Assassin's Creed 3 PS3, which now is a terabyte, well, which will now have one terabyte of uh, data. So with the camera, I will take a nice close-up here of um, what in this process. All right, so here we go. You um, so here's the PS3 right here, standing up in between my PS3 and 360 here. So yeah. So this part with the tape, because I haven't even bothered to take that off yet. Um, I guess you're supposed to apply, pri apply pressure and it comes off, so let me um, try to get this to come off. Wait, let me just hold the, the camera here. Um, ah, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Okay, hold up. Let me get this to where it can... Okay, alright. I'm going to try to take this off. And it should hopefully like slide off easily or pop out really easily. Oh, maybe I take the tape off that probably helped too. <sighs> I probably should have read the user's manual. That would probably help too. You should read the user's manual first before you. Oh, there we go. One side's off. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not want it to fall over because that'd be depressing if it fell and broke. All right, <coughs> so now the top is off, and we can see the. Uh, this is where the hard drive's at. This part right here, the blue screw. And so now I'm going to take my handy dandy Phillips head screwdriver to take that off. Where did I put it? Here it is. All right. So yeah, now going to wait aren't, doesn't this pop out first oh yeah that's right okay never mind crap I don't think I have a oh my my screw is kind of hold on okay it comes right off easily because my screwdriver is kind of kind of not in the like best condition okay I'll put that there and then this little part here, just pull that out, and then ta-da, here's your PS3 hard drive. As you can see right here, uh, just basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take it out and then put the new one in the same way that all these connections are facing, and that'll do that. Um, so yeah, as we can see, while well, this is kind of warm since I've it's been on all day back, backing up data, but um. You have four screws on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Take those out. You slide out the drive. So I'll do that right now. <sighs> With my handy dandy Phillips head screwdriver. Oh wow, they slide right out. This is nice. And I did this for my other PS3. It, took <laughs> it was a fight and a half, man. Because there's like more than one blue screw, I think. If I remember correctly, and just like, yeah. Well, I guess I should probably have this on camera, huh? Okay. This is screw number two I'm taking out right now. Okay. And screw number three. Oh, yeah. Also, lefty, Lucy. So, you know, just turn it to the left to get it out. Apply pressure. Oh, crap. These t the last two aren't coming off. This is good. I don't have another 
the screwdriver since it's going to have to work. Oh wait, maybe I can get it out without having to do the other two. Oh no, it's still got screws in it. Okay. Let me sit down so I can get a quick grip on this. same time and not one at a time. That's my bad. <sighs> Actually, I should have another screwdriver somewhere. I should probably try to find it real quick. Yeah, let me do that. I'm just going to set my hard drive down so I can get some more of my other tool set. With better screws. Or screwdrivers. work better than my one that's kind of worn out. That one's too big. Of course it's too big. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This should work. Ah, here we go. This is it. Or not. What the F, man? These last two are just like not wanting to come out. the screws, this is not good. At least on the fourth one I am, the third one is just not coming out. Dang it, I just totally have them last time on the, like, on the fat one, or not the fat one, but my 60 gigabyte when I put in a, a larger hard drive since it has 500, like a 500 gigabyte one in it, like when I put in the new one, the uh, there's like some screws I stripped when I was trying to do this on that one as well. Crap. But now it's hard for me to get. Man. Stupid, stupid. I'll just keep going at it and see if they spring. happen. Alright, let me try to, right, I'll stop this right here and try to <laughs> get these other two off. This is, I cannot do anything until I get these screws off. Alright, take in here, I'm back. <laughs> I, I would go into a very long anecdote of what just happened and how I had such a, a trial and tri tribulation to get the, these screws off this hard drive. <laughs> but yeah, basically what happened was I, I did screw I did strip the screws. So here they are. If you can like I don't know if you can see this really good, but yeah, they're they're kind of yeah. And then like I I got a ser set of pliers. Basically, I had to I had to buy these because I didn't have any. So um to like turn these off like to get these off the hard way. So basically, wh when you do that. <laughs> I guess this is like another part of the guide. If you if you end up stripping the screws and you need to like remove these, just like put them around the um the screws and then just like turn them to the left slowly. And just like keep repeating that process and they'll eventually come off. Like at the at the beginning when they're like still on tight, just like <laughs> keep doing it over and over and just have patience because 
like I don't know if you can see this one right here, but I basically before I went onto YouTube to like look up how to do that, I I like my caveman instinct took over and I was just like ripping and like just pulling at it and being very violent with it <laughs> because I yeah and so I was like okay wait a minute I should I like then my like my like my sense of reason came came over and I was like okay let's go to YouTube and look up how to do this <laughs> and so yeah because I, I, I've never done this before so at least I never had to like resort to using freaking pliers but like yeah now now it's like to the point where I can like just easily turn the to like take these screws out with my hands so I'm taking these both out so here's one and the last one so yay these are finally out and I can switch the backup drive with the uh, terabyte hard drive I have sitting but before that before because I have these uh, strip screws I'm going to swap them out with some ones that are not stripped and put them in the uh, slots here so they're not impossible to take out the next time I need to back up or replace the hard drive. So I'm going to do that and then like if you don't have any, um, you can probably just like buy some somewhere or something. I don't, I'm not really too sure how that works because I, I'd have like a bunch lying around because all the uh, computer parts I always swap out of my computer so there's that. Um, but before I put my terabyte one in, I'm going to uh, put this one back in the new Super Slim just to see if it's still working from all the damage I just might have possibly possibly caused. But I think it only I I didn't like poke at any vital areas, just the <laughs> just the parts with the screws. I'm sorry, this is just like too funny to me that this is like happening. Ah oh, man, I. I kind of wish I would have had it on video when I was doing that, because it was just, man, like, also be careful with the pliers, like, you can easily just, like, like, the part where the, like, thingies come together, like, below that, if your, like, hands are, like, right there, you can, like, really pinch yourself. I didn't do that, but I almost did it, and I was like, wow, this is, like, an ex accident waiting to happen, and since I was, like, doing it over and over, just, like, my hands started to, to kind of, like, sweat and get on the, the, the grip, and, yeah. <sighs> Luckily, everything came out okay, though, so... Alright, I'm gonna stop it right here, and then I need to like watch all this footage that's happened before to like see where I'm at in the guide, and then I'll be right back, or I'll be right, or I'll be back after that. All right, so yeah, um, the casing protected the tweezing attack that the hard drive <laughs> suffered. So the my old 500 gigabyte works. So I'm now gonna take this one out. This is the super slim stock 500 gigabyte hard drive that came with the Assassin's Creed 3. And then, um, okay, I'm gonna leave this in here for now. And then this is the terabyte hard drive that I'm replacing it with. It's done the protective plastic. So I'm gonna take this out and then when I swap it, I'll put the 500 gigabyte one in here so I can have a good place to store it. All right, so, um, Basically, this side has all the connections facing out, so I'm just going to swap this facing the same exact way. And with the uh, label side, which is all the stuff right here, so it's basically the exact same uh, placement. I'm just swapping hard drives, so here's the old one. Wait a minute, I'm going to put this... I'll just hold it, I guess. Here's the old one. And then the new one. So sorry for like all the background sounds since my mic is still like super sensitive. All right, so this is the new one I'm putting in. And then the old one I'm going to put back in the protective plastic casing that the new one came in. And it's not stain sealed. Awesome. Alright, and then it's funny because, um, yeah, during the break to test the old hard drive, the, um, <laughs> what happened was that, uh, oh crap, the screws are not in the same place, that's, oh yeah, they are, never mind. Alright, so here we go. So yeah, you want to have the label side right here, 
this is a uh, Samsung. I'm replacing it with the stock drive. It was a Hitachi. Um, but yeah, I threw away <laughs> the two strip screws and then, you know, went to check some replacement screws that I had lying around and they were too big to fit into the... <laughs> <laughs> with them in, they wouldn't fit into the the hard drive storage space. So now I'm stuck with only two screws on this on this um, casing. So there's another, you know, forewarning about if you're going to do this, make sure. <laughs> but then again, I put it in to test to make sure it worked and it didn't need all four screws. So, and, and I'm pretty sure I, I don't have all the screws on my, my uh, 60 gigabyte, whatever I replaced it with, because I stripped some of the screws on that one. I, I don't know if I left, I might have just like left them in and just like and like screw them in like by hand like I'm doing now. I just didn't put them all in all the way, which is what I should have <laughs> with, the, with the two I threw away, but whatever. So I'm not going to worry about it. No big deal. All right, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to uh, boot up the PS3 and it should format this. And then I will repeat the process where I copy everything, but I'm not going to record that, so that's basically the end of this video. And then I'll put up a, like, mission accomplished or something uh, video when, like, with, like, the screen on the screen that has all the, um, the system information where it has, like, however many hundreds of gigabytes to show how much space your system has. So, there's that. Alright, so this is the hard drive. I screwed the screws in. Ready to go back into the PS3, so I guess I'll turn the camera real quick to show that. Oh man, this has been a crazy, <laughs> crazy experience. <laughs> See, it's funny because like the um, I was gonna show, like pull pull out my network adapter for the PS2 because it was like such an easy process. Like all you had to do was basically screw off the screws with like a a a, a coin, and that's like the like the extent of the oh sh <laughs> oh man do not wow i dropped it between consoles it's it, it's butterfingers butterfingers all right there we go let me choose not move my fingers where's my phillips uh whatever it's working it's working make it nice and tight all right, there we go. And now I need to put the top back on. Where did I put oh, this? I'm not even sure if this is the right way this is supposed to go back in. But I guess we'll find out. It's this to me is like the hardest part is like put the stupid thing back on because I didn't even put it back on when I took the hard drive out. I just left it upside down on top of it to make sure dust didn't get in, but <sighs> let me try flipping it around. Maybe it's backwards. See, when it's on like this, I don't even think that's the right way because it's not even like, you can just take this off like so easily now. It's like, maybe it like snaps in somehow, but whatever. Oh, there we go. It snaps and then you have to, it's, it's okay. Alright, so I'll boot it up and uh, get this new hard drive formatted and I'll copy everything back over but that part will be not on video since I've already done it and then um yeah victory and all that stuff so um oh wait I guess I'll do one more part and that'll be the end of the video and I boot up the the new hard drive or the boot up the console with the new hard drive just put in to see if it is working and not a since I even haven't even like tested it to see if it's like a dead on dead on arrival drive, so let's hope it's not dead. Okay, pushing the PlayStation button to power it on now. And oh, here we go. Boot up screen. The system software cannot run correctly. Restart the system. 
system storage must be reformatted. Yeah, it has to reformat the hard drive. Update data version 4.31 or later. Oh, good thing I have that. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't delete that uh, USB system update because it needs it right now. So I guess I'll go ahead and do this and see what it, how long this takes or whatever this is. So now I'm putting that USB stick in with the update data and pushing start. Oh, push start and select at the same time. Checking. So I guess this is this is another thing you'll need is to have the most recent firmware available when you put in the new hard drive. When you're reform reformatting it. System deleted to format. Push and hold start and select at the same time for at least five seconds. Okay, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. All right. The terabyte hard drive I got was like 60 bucks, 60 or 70, so that's a pretty good price. I'll put a link to the uh, the listing on Newegg. There's actually a pretty decent uh, 750 gigabyte hard drive they have as well. It's got more cache and uh, it's faster. It's like 7200 RPM. I don't remember what the cache size was, but it was pretty much better performance, but not as much size. So I but I wanted to have like a terabyte hard drive, so I didn't want to worry about having better for, uh, uh, performance because it probably wouldn't matter anyway. So, or I'm not familiar if it even really matters in games. So, hmm. but I'm thinking about using that uh, 751 and then swapping that into the 60 gigabyte because I have a 500 gigabyte in there now. So I'm thinking about swapping that since it has better performance to see if I'd get like better or like a, any type of performance increase with like any of the games that installed a hard drive, like the data and stuff, so, hmm. Formatting. You know, it's funny, I've never seen the screen. <laughs> I don't think, like, the whole... I'm trying to think if this happened the last time I switched hard drives, but I don't think it did. Because I don't think I went through this whole part where it was, like, hold down, start and select. I just, or maybe I just don't rem remember because it was such a long time ago. But yeah, this is like my second time switching uh, hard drives on a console. Because on my 60 gigabyte, I upgraded to like 500 gigabytes, and then this one I'm upgrading to terabyte, but... On this one I'm also going to swap, or like, copy all the data from the old one to this one, so... And I was like... That's such a long time ago when I did that, so I don't even remember. It's like, <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've seen that screen. I'm like, yeah, this is so weird to see that screen because I see it once in a blue moon. System update, PlayStation button. Use the wireless controller. Okay. I had it hooked up via USB, so I took out the uh, USB charge thing to push the PlayStation button since it said connect wirelessly. <sighs> Man, I'm just glad I'll finally be able to play <laughs> some PSN games after this because I've been wanting to play Journey because I haven't finished it. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, so that'll be fun. Also, um, Unfinished Swan, I haven't played that either, and I've downloaded that. I have a ton of PSN games actually I need to play, so... Yeah, push X to start the update. 
Yeah, it's funny because like, I have to do all this, and then after this, it's going to basically, I'll leave the system on all night as it's getting all the data from the old PS3 copied onto it, because that's going to take <sighs> a ridiculous am amount of time. Because last time it took like at least 12 hours. Okay, m okay, 12 hours is probably an overstatement, but it took a long time. Because I went to work, came back, and it still wasn't done. And it said like six hours later, and I was like, oh, I'll finish when I'm at work, came back. <laughs> Not finished yet. Ugh. Okay, I guess as we're reaching the end of this video, feel free to leave any comments or tips <laughs> how not to strip screws when you're removing them from your PlayStation 3 hard drive casing. Favorite, subscribe, what have you, or not. Mm. Share your own experiences, like wh how smooth or not smooth <laughs> was it when you replaced your PlayStation 3 hard drive, or your slim PS3 hard drive, or your super slim PS3 hard drive? Like, yeah, like, makes me think back, like, I know the PS2s, like, the fat ones had, like, hard drive, like, optional Final Fantasy XI, like, upgrade things. I never got the chance to use that, though, so. And then there was the, uh, like, PSX. It was, like, a multimedia device thing that also had the hard drive. Not, l not like, the PS1, since that was also, like, a denotation for that in uh, some places, but it was, like, the PSX something something. I'm sure if you Wikipedia it, it, you'll find it. All right, here we go. I wonder, I wonder if this is gonna be the boot screen every time I turn this on on the Super Slim. Probably not. It's probably just oh, I was supposed to connect the USB thingy. Whoops, where's that? Here we go. USB. There we go. There we go. English. Central. I'll fix that later. This doesn't matter because I'm probably going to copy over when I copy my other settings, but whatever. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do it again. Wow, I can like barely hear this, this is super slow. <laughs> I didn't notice it before, but it's like there's like a whir and like yeah. I don't have an internet connection right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So you wanted to cancel out there, but it whatever. I'll just go to wired and cancel and then we go. There we go. I guess also if like you know, does it matter if I have two screws on my <laughs> hard drive while it's encased in the the hard drive bay? Does it really matter? Because I yeah, I'll have to pull out my 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 fat PS2s just to see like what is in that one. Because I'm pre I'm like a thousand percent sure that uh yeah. Okay, and as you can see, it's a nice new system. It doesn't have all the stuff I just copied onto the uh, fifty gigabyte stock hard drive so I can copy it all over again even if it's is on oh that's right because it's the for new firmware so that's why that's there Vita all right so yeah that's it for this video series it was a fun ride a bit a bit stressful a bit crazy but yeah here we are my well I guess I'm not at the end yet so the mission will be accomplished when I can go to oh wait here we go System settings, where's it at? System settings, and then um, system information, there we go. 828 gigabytes, nice. So um, I'm gonna copy all my old data, crap, my Mac address is on there. 
Oh wait, that's I'm not connected to the internet anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, there's um, there's that, and I'm gonna copy all my old data onto here. Delete everything that's not PSN related, so I can. That's basically what I'm doing with this PS3. Is like all my PSN games, like digital only, is going on here, and then disc based is all the other PS3. So I'm gonna separate them by that. And uh, yeah, so I will copy it, and then we'll look at all my stuff on the new that's copied over here. See how much space it has after I copy it. It should be about 300 gigabytes less, so probably like five something, which is funny because that's the stock amount, but whatever. So, all right, time to copy all my data again. Fun times. See you on the other side. And hopefully I don't break anything or yeah, nothing bad happens. All right, taken here, I'm back and I'm done uh, um, copying everything on the old PS3 to the new Super Slim. So now let's check everything out. Um, so yeah, system settings. Let's see how much more, how much space I have after this. 609 gigabytes, so yeah, I'm gonna go through and like delete all my old stuff that's on here though, so I'll like add it back, and then I'll go ahead and um, I guess, well, let me, I'll skip ahead in the video to a, t Okay, so I'm now signing into the PlayStation Network for the first time with the new PS3. And I'm going to uh, activate my game and video stuff that I had deactivated on the um, other console or whatever. I don't think I have any videos actually. I had one a long time ago, but whatever. Okay, I guess you can only have one PS3 synced to the video, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so I should be signed in. Yep. Because I'm online right now. Oh man, I wish I could delete PlayStation Home. Dang it, I can't. Okay, I, I just wanted to see if it would show up because I'm not sure if I had it installed on the other PS3 when I copied everything over. Oh well, whatever. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess in the video here, and turn this on. Everything. Well, never mind then. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. F it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we learned something there. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is go to the PlayStation Store, and then um, let's see. Oh wait a minute, I forgot to do something. Well, I guess I can do it after I do what I'm doing now. But um. PlayStation Store. Where did I put that USB thing? I don't know where I put it. Awesome. Oh, here it is. Let's see, as seen as, um, this is the PS3 with all my digital stuff on it. I'm going to search. Get all my Mass Effect games onto one PS3. And then I can just play that. So Mass Effect 2. 
prepared already, but the um, where's it at? Well, I bought the game, but I don't see it. Whatever. I guess I'll just download the one I had bought. Wow, two gigabytes. <laughs> Just download that in the background. And then um after that I have not bought in Mass Effect 3 on here yet, so I'm gonna do that. And I'll download that in the background. And just let that download overnight. And then I'll have the whole trilogy and all the DLC. Except for Pinnacle Station, because I'm not sure if that was in Mass Effect 1 that's on the store that I bought, but whatever. If it ever comes out, I'll probably buy it anyway, but whatever. Okay, this is taking a while, but... Yeah. But yeah, I hope this video helped somebody, like at least one person, because... <laughs> Because doing this, I thought it was going to be easier than it turned out to be, but aside from the whole stripping the screws thing, it wasn't that bad. It was just the fact that it took a long time to um, copy the data over. That takes like a day of just letting your PS3 sit there and copy the data. So, um, Mass Effect 3 now. Alright, here we go. 40 bucks. I would totally spend $40 on this game. I think I already have all the DLC. Alright, cool. So, yeah. I'll get Mass Effect 3 on here. I think while I'm doing this, or wait, waiting for this stuff to download, I will... Um, actually, I'm wondering, because I have the... In full game trial, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't have the full game trial m downloaded, so it's not a problem for me. But, um, I got the N7 edition, so I'm wondering if I buy the digital version if all my like stuff that I already have will carry over, like my N7 weapons and all that stuff, it should carry over, so I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'll christen my new Super Slim PS3 with Mass Effect. Oh, I forgot to add my... Dang it, I, f I need to add money to my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, but it's it's cool because I already have a, um, a code I bought off of Amazon, so let me open that up. Wow, this is... A thousand steps longer this video than it needs to be. Seriously, I'm I'm terrible. Well, I'm not terrible, but <sighs> take it, take it, take it. Damn it! Damn it! I wonder if I get a checkout I, if I can add thingies or redeem a code from the store. Code sweet. Where's my code at? Should be on. Of course it's not. Of course it's not on here. Let me go to Amazon. <laughs> what is happening to me? I can't even get the end code. Where's my code at? Oh, jeez, this is crazy. So you're telling me I cannot... No. It has to be on here somewhere. Didn't I just, like... If I go to my games library. Ah, here we go. Alright. Wait, why are there two keys on here? Oh, okay, that's from October. This is from the one I just bought. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, I found it. <laughs> eight in eight Q three L. In three, 
Yeah, I usually get them from like GameStop's website, but it takes a while to process it because I get like power up rewards points. But then like Amazon is like instant, so it's like I prefer Amazon. But like the codes aren't always in stock there, so and I just like them more. So yeah. Yes, I would like to add fifty dollars to my wallet. Just need to check out. Find purchase. Yeah, I think it said like 160 minutes for Mass Effect 2, so this is, wow, this is even bigger. So I'm going to download it to see how long this takes. 14 gigabytes, yeah. 2 gig larger. 172 minutes, so yeah. Over 2 hours. Oh, wait. I'll wait until maybe there's like 1%. And then I like, well, no, maybe. So it probably isn't as bad as it said when I got the Mass Effect 2 screen. So it was like, it was at 160 or whatever. So. Okay, it's holding still at 146, so that's like 2 hours and 20 minutes. So. Alright, I guess that's it for the video. Oh, wait, I have one more thing to do before I. <laughs> okay, I'm serious this time. But like, if you're still watching the video, thanks. Just because like this, the stuff I'm doing now is just like BS that doesn't even matter. If like the if you're like doing all this stuff, it's just stuff to like have like break my system in and be like, I can turn it on and play Mass Effect anytime. Yes. So yeah, now we're stuck at the please wait screen one last time. I'm thinking of uh, doing a video series about PlayStation Plus just because I like it so much more than Xbox Live and think it's better and such a better uh, value is like every month I'm gonna like go through all the stuff that's like free with your subscription to PlayStation Plus and then like through the marketplace and Xbox Live and be like so here you can get blah 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 for free where clearly Xbox Live is like not gonna have as much stuff and it's like oh well at least you can play online oh <laughs> but you can do it for free on PlayStation Network not to stir the pot or anything, you know, just pointing that out there to anybody, you know, making that they might be like weighing a decision however many years we are into this console cycle of if I should buy a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. Um, so yeah, now that that's done, I have a USB stick I put in. Oh, wait, picture. There we go. Yeah. And I'm going to change my background now to. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, here we go. We are, uh, mm. how do I, I think it says wallpaper. Yes. Wait, how do you, I'll just set the default and see if that works. We should be fine. All right, I'm gonna go back to the XMB. Ah. That's uh, whatever. <laughs> it looks a bit too large, but I, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Everything's cool. Everything's working. I haven't tried to play any games yet, but whatever. All my games are over here, so I'll let my Mass Effects download. And uh, thanks for watching and everything. And uh, yeah, I will. Or any questions or comments or tips for people that are backing up their stuff to like get through it faster and any tips I could have done to make it more smoother or if you have any tips on like not to strip a screw when you're removing it from your hard drive case because you know that totally didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> leave it in the comments and I hope you enjoyed watching it as I totally suffered through this and, ha and put it on video even though I could have just suffered through it in private and uh, until next video I'm now signing off.